is William Hopefully, your favorite videographer from Two Hats Publishing. I attended a gathering of man's best friend at Main Street Gardens in downtown Dallas, Texas. And this is where I found it, my furry Valentine event at the park. We have many great interviews, so there's no need for me to speak up for them. They have all the facts. Um, this is my furry Valentine. So we have an event out here with a lot of different vendors for um, dog-related stuff, pet adoptions, different rescues, different food, um, training things. You're saying you're promoting downtown? Yes, downtown Dallas. Um, well, this is the Downtown Dallas Inc. booth. Downtown Dallas Inc. Just providing information about downtown Dallas. And then I'm on Downtown Residence Council, and we work closely with Downtown Dallas, Inc., with all downtown living-related issues. Great. My name's Christopher Watts, and this is the first annual My Furry Valentine. As you can see, there's a lot of dogs out here today. We're trying to promote downtown as an avenue to be able to help animals find homes, as well as understanding that you can live in an urban environment with animals and not have to worry about grooming, dog walking, supplies, or actually even where to get a dog, because there are so many wonderful rescues available and want to come downtown and help everybody find their four-legged friends. So that's what this event's about. Well, the Petropolitan is a full-service pet care facility here in downtown. Um, our phone number is 214-741-4100, and our uh, website is www.thepetropolitandallas.com. And um, just give us a shout for anything. Tell me about these pooches or tell me about your organization. Well, American Black and Tan Coonhound Rescue is a national organization. We have rescues, we rescue all across the United States and foster homes in almost every state across the U.S. Um, we get most of our hounds are from um, hunters that discard them, shelters, high kill shelters. Uh, we've had a couple right now. This is Mason. He was a part of a litter of 10 puppies that were put in an ice chest in Louisiana in July and left to die. We saved all 10. He's my last one to be adopted out. They were only two months when we got him, so we've had him for a while. Hunter is our um, tree walker, Coonhound, uh -huh. and he was hit by a car and left to dead on the side of the road, but uh, Animal Control picked him up and brought him to the vet and contacted us, and he has since had an operation, fixed his hip. He had heartworm treatment, and he's doing great. Anna Banana over here, she's a black and tan Coonhound. Coon hound. She was an owner's surrender, so she was brought back to the rescue. Um, but we we that's cover. Good. Oh, that's a good, nice shot. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah. Very gentle. Coonhounds are awesome, awesome pets. Actually, the coonhound is um, first American, is a 100% American breed dog. Actually, developed here in the United States, so they're 100% USA. Okay. okay uh, so, uh, if, if I had a, a large uh, Visa card, what's it take to walk away with one of these nice little puppies? These guys are um, all um, are spayed and neutered. Uh -huh. Um, up to date on all their shots, okay. vaccinations, and on heartworm preventative and heartworm treatment, you know, checked if they had heartworms. Uh -huh. And adoption fee is $200. Okay, sounds good. Yes, very, very good deal. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. We have an addendum. Okay, <laughs> well, we can edit. <laughs> I mean, let me get you focused here. Very good. Go ahead. So, if you're interested in a coon hound, we um, rescue black and tans, uh, blue ticks, red ticks, uh, bloodhounds, tree walkers, okay. and any, pretty much any kind of hound group. But our website is www.coonhoundrescue.com. Www Wonderful. Got, is there a phone number to go with that? Or uh, no, it's a website. Just a website. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, bye.
What are we selling here and what kind of fun are we having today? Um, I do dog walking, pet sitting, pet transportation, and grooming. Um, my mom owns some businesses here in downtown and she noticed that it would um, actually help people down here. There's a lot of dog owners down here and so I, she had me start it and I started it um, two years ago and we just started opening here in downtown and doing walking in downtown and uptown area. Um, we have little goodie bags with our business information and in different treats for small and big dogs. Um, a lot of people hand out treats, so we figured we'd have little goodie bags where they can take some home um, if their dogs are full by the time they get to our table. Yes. LeashPalsDallas.com is the website, and the phone number is 972-591-8075, and we're on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Foursquare, so you can find us everywhere. Oh, yes, um, Facebook.com slash LeashPalsDallas. Well, we are Chihuahua Rescue and Transport. We are a nationwide Chihuahua Rescue. We rescue uh, dogs out of abusive situations from the shelter, uh, owner surrenders. We, you know, like to take the seniors and maybe the ill uh, because we bring them back to health and, you know, don't count the seniors out. They're, uh, you know, Chihuahuas live a long time and a 10 year old dog that's a Chihuahua is not that old of a dog. He can live to be 18. So, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We have um, in the red sweatshirt with the pink harness, that's, yeah, there's Lexi. She's five years old. She's, uh, she barks like a duck. That's what makes her unique. There you go, Lexi. And then the beautiful chocolate uh, puppy, she's five months old, is Gloria. And this is Baron. He's a Chihuahua pug mix and he is a tripod so he's a little bit special needs but he's a loving loving dog that wants to be in your lap just to be loved on and he's about five years old so we have many more dogs on our website it's chihuahua-rescue.com uh, well, we foster in our homes, so there's really not a phone number, just the website. And we're on Facebook. It's facebook.com uh, slash cute chihuahuas. So we announce our events on there. Thank you. Yeah, we're with chihuahuas, so I'll give you a card, too. Okay, well, i gotta take I got to take a picture for Oh, look at that. Love at first sight. Oh, oh. oh, Stretch has to be sweet. <laughs> Come here, Lexi. Come here. Look at you. Come here, now. Stay still. How, how, Stay much, still. how much is he? Well, the adoption fee is $200. Oh, look at her. She's a spicy little baby. She really is. Hi, <laughs> baby. You tell him. You tell him. Uh oh, you're gonna get wound up here. Yeah. Do you want me to hold her, maybe? Uh, I think I got a picture. Okay. She's just, she's probably up there now, looking down here in the car. <laughs> going, what's he doing? There we go. We'll have a couple more chihuahuas here, you know, when we're when this gets going. Stretch, are you stretching around me there? Yeah. I'm a rescue too. Oh, good. He's, a, he's actually a PTSD service dog. Oh, wow. wow. What's her name? This is Lexi. Lexi. But he's, Lexi. A, he's a rescue as well. And uh, he, uh, he was in a uh, he was in a, he was in a kill shelter. And he was 
said, Dale, we can be a euthanized. And I went to look at another dog. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, no, if he's, you're going to euthanize him tomorrow. You're not euthanizing that dog. Forget it. I'll take him. And uh, so I took him right away. Got him out of there. Careful. And, uh, she yelled at me, and I'm a, I'm a friendly person. She's she's can be a little anxious. Yeah. Here, let me yeah. pick her up. Come here. Yeah, she needs a little, she needs a little love and care. I mean, we have two events today, so a lot of the dogs are at the other event. But if you go look on our website, you can see all the dogs we have. But um, we uh, you go to the website and then you go dogs for adoption and then go to Southwest area. Pretty shot. But everyone should be here by 10:30, I think. I think we may only have a few dogs today, and one of them is a uh, Chihuahua pug named Baron, who's he's a tripod. He's missing his front leg. Oh. I know. But you know, you know, I'll tell you the most horrible thing that I saw. Hello, Doxy. There you go. Look at this. Can you give me an interview? Huh? Can you can, can you give me an interview? Oh yes. Yeah. Let's see if we can, see if we can get that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you are so friendly. You are so friendly. Yes, you are. You are so friendly. Yes, you are. Yeah. You are so friendly. Yeah. There you go. Well, today is an event with a whole bunch of different uh, animal, either rescue or animal related uh, organizations. And we are here with DFW Pug Rescue. We've brought a few of our adoptable pugs and uh, lots of great pug merchandise. If you don't have enough, you could always, <laughs> we, have, we have plenty of pugs paraphernalia. Ah, yes, wonderful. very popular breed and lots of animals that need homes. Well, uh, let's, let's help things out. Uh, do you have a phone number or website or something like that? Um, sure, we sure. The website is dfwpugs.com. Okay. Um, there's uh, our phone number. We're located uh, in Grapevine is where the organization's out of. Phone number 817-481-2004. And dfwpugs.com lists lots of information, especially about um, fostering, of course, adoption applications, and pictures of most of our adoptable pugs, and they change constantly we're always taking in new dogs and and adopting them out so it's an ever-changing ever-expanding website so if, I, if I'm waving my, my visa card out here or whatever that's it uh, what would it take to take home one of these little oh, well you need to go to our website and uh, download an adoption application okay. um, then the steps are uh, that gets approved we, we do some references some vet references and personal references we do do a home visit and that's really just to make sure that you know the yard is adequately secured for a pug um, they can get out of very small places so um, we do the home visit and after that the whichever pug you want is yours so people People, if you think that you want to adopt a pug, go ahead and go through the process, even though there's not a pug on the website at the moment, because when the pug hits that you really want, you want to be all approved and ready to go. Wow. So you can get that dog as quickly, because the good ones go fast. Okay. So we got, let me get a shot of your merchandise. Okay. And we got your phone number and website, so I think we're all good. Hello, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh, you are just as cuddly as can be. Yes, you are. Cuddly as can be, you're going to be a movie star. Yes, you are. You're going to be a movie star. Okay, tell me about this little guy. Oh, he's trying to love everybody. By nine, nine months, wow. Yeah. You can give good interviews, yes you do. You like all the nice scratches. Are you up for a little interview? Oh, we're gonna sit down. Oh, we're gonna turn turn our backs to the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I just wanna show everybody that I'm very lovable. You wanna turn around and give, give us a picture? Huh? Gonna turn around? No. I got my position. This is my good side. Yeah, how you guys doing over there? 
He looks so excited. Yeah. Can you say hello without sampling me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you say hello without sampling me? Yeah. I should have enough smells on me now. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. I see. I see. You learn from the expert, huh? Give me your back, huh? Yes, we are from Don't Forget to Feed Me Pet Food Bank, <laughs> and our mission is to make sure that no pet owner ever has to choose between stay or go. The way we do that is we collect donated pet food from locations all over the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and we deliver that to food banks so that when people come to get food for themselves, they're able to pick up food for their pets as well. We accept dog food, cat food, and foods, food for other animals, um, fish, hamsters, anything else that you want to bring food for, we would love to have it. If you would like to contact us, you can call our office. Our phone number is 817-334-0727, or you can find us on the web, uh, www.df2fm.org. Yes, we have merchandise for sale as well. We have our tote bags, our hats, and our t-shirts. These are my favorite ones because they glow in the dark. Oh, how, how about an interview, little one? Huh? You gonna give me an interview? Oh, I'm just gonna be a mooch here. I'm gonna take all the scratching and rubbing and, t and ask for more. Huh? Is that it? Okay. Catch you later. Okay. Um. I always pick the wrong person. Oh, so, oh, oh, so. Hello, hello, hello. Here, give me a hand to scratch you. Can you fix your puppy real quick? Yeah. Okay, let me hide, duck out of it. Let me get. Let me... There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Good girl. All right. Oh, this is a leash, huh? You want your leash to look like your collar, right? Uh-huh. You want to be color coordinated. Okay. Alright. So you can pull them off, you can throw them in the washing machine. If you've got boys like I do that get into dirt and mud and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. So then just like that. Uh-huh. You've got a cover. Uh -huh. A little bit of Velcro there. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you need a handle because you got to hold on to your dog, right? Right, right. So then you put that through there. You got yourself a handy dandy handle. Sounds good. Back up here and get a nice full shot of that. Aha! Uh -huh. So what's this, what's these little gadgets cost? Or or we I mean, the calls better? I know well, they cost. But <laughs> These are um, Lepote designs, mm -hmm. collars and leashes, okay. and then the covers go on top. Okay. So it's just really, really simple. So, I'm not uh, fancy. Not fancy. Okay. So if I'm bottom line, I got my boots wrapped inside, mm -hmm. and I need a new collar and leash. Mm -hmm. how, 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 uh, is it a $50 bill? No. no? Well, I'll, I'll take that back. It's $35 for just the leash and the collar, and then it's $25 every time you want to change the cover. Okay. I can deal with that. So instead of like, you know, 60 or 70 bucks every time you need to go and get new uh -huh. fancy collars and leashes for uh -huh. your dog, it's only $25 after you get the, the initial collar and leash. Fantastic. So that's what I've got. I've got them in one inch collars and three quarter inch collars and leashes. Okay. So if you've got a big dog, one inch. If you've got a medium sized dog, three quarter inch. Okay. I am planning on going smaller, but scaling down is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Mm. Yeah, material, trying to get the material with pre-made and or then make or make it yourself. Right. Holding problems and then sewing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, everything's made 
by me. Uh -huh. And I live right here in Plano, Texas. Wow. So this is my deal. So All right. I want to thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, three team trainers in this area, uh, one in Dallas and two in Fort Worth. And I'm an executive team trainer and I kind of oversee everything here in the Dallas market. Uh, we're looking to expand into Houston, San Antonio and uh, Austin markets here in the near future. Uh, Lorenzo has been training dogs for 30 years. Our headquarters is in Cleveland, Ohio. Our website is LorenzosDogTrainingTeam.com and you could also uh, like us on Facebook. Most of the uh, training that we do is referred by veterinarians and past clients because they love our training. I'm a past client of Lorenzo's. Seven years ago, I trained a German Shepherd who my vet said, if you don't get her trained, don't ever come back here again. <laughs> That's how bad she was. So uh, we did get her trained. She was on and off leash trained. She uh, did retrieval. I'd send her out every morning, get the newspaper, bring it back into the house. Uh, go uh, get the mail from the mailman. She was also uh, tracking uh, uh, efficient. She'd actually go out, we'd uh, send out kids into the woods and she'd have to go and track them. And uh, we also did some suspicion and personal protection, uh, offensive and defensive bite work. Okay, so, and, so this, this, this is her, huh? This is my little girl now. Well, this is a new one. Uh, her name is Cola. Uh, I got her about 10 months ago. She's almost 10 months. Uh, she's doing a suspicion level where she uh, actually barks on command and alerts me if there's somebody suspicious around me. She also goes and uh, is doing retrieval work. And uh, starting uh, next week, we're going to actually have her pick up uh, objects off the floor and hold it in her mouth as she's walking and sitting and doing some other things. So uh, we're looking forward to that. She uh, has her own uh, glove that uh, she's been working with. And we're going to use that same glove for tracking down the road, too. Well, thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Okay, hi, my name's Eva. I'm with Recycle Pumps and Skipper Key. We're a rescue group located uh, throughout Dallas Fort Worth. Our founders are located in DeSoto and in uh, Garland. We right now have about 115 dogs looking for a home. We've got about 40 volunteers throughout the Dallas Fort Worth area. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, so your adoption fees, any donation fees, everything goes straight to the vetting. All of our dogs are spayed and neutered, microchipped fully vetted, heartworm negative, and on heartworm preventative. Check us out on Facebook or on our site, www.pomeranians.com. Our direct line is 214-778-7758. And like I said, RecyclePomeranians.com or like us on Facebook. Stuff that is available for uh, donations only. We have little collars. We have uh, cowboy collars, we have rangers, and we have some Oklahoma and ATM and all, I mean, A and whatever, A&M, Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is Roxy. She is an Australian Shepherd mix. She's six months old, and she was found at, uh, left in, abandoned in a backyard. So we rescued her. She needs a good home. Right now the Pomeranian owners are helping, but it would be good to get her a good home. She's really playful. She loves to jump on people and give hugs, so it's pretty well and she's pretty calm. She's more of like if you have kids around the age of 8 to 18, so that she has someone to play with. She's. Just a little ball of fur. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm an artist here based in Dallas. Um, I was a landscape architect and really wanted to find a way to use art to get more involved in the community. And I found that uh, people really love their dogs and um, that's a great way for people, neighbors to get to know each other and um, as an artist it's the best way that I've gotten to know uh, people and build relationships with them and so it's kind of grown and so um, just it's a, it's a new venture for me 
drawing, but I've got some um, paintings or sketches that I can do for people for sale or these pre-made prints. Each one's handmade. I have some others that I'm going to make here, but they're kind of the prototypes right now to see how they sell. And they're five dollars each. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just a plain pet lover myself. I'm not yeah. Uh, this is Ranger. He is a seven-year-old English pointer. Uh -huh. He has a background in hunting and he loves to point at squirrels and rabbits. Come here, Ranger. And he, Ranger, come here, Bubby. He is a sweet, 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 sweet <laughs> little love bug. He loves attention. Um, he's a point of, part of our pointer project, which is for English pointers. Um, but our original foundation is the Texas German Shorthair Foundation, which is a different type of pointer, but every bit as lovable and sweet as this breed. Um, they have a lot of energy usually. He's a little bit low energy for his breed, but um, he loves playing with all their dogs. He loves taking naps, loves to eat a lot of food. <laughs> so he's definitely in retirement. And uh, <laughs> He's pretty good with cameras, actually. Um, but then we also have a bunch of other German short hairs and English pointers coming out today that are a little bit younger and a little bit more energetic. Um, and we just started the pointer project last summer, but the German short hair pointer project has been in existence for quite a few years right now. Eight years, 10 years <laughs> now. And um, we adopt dogs and bring in dogs all over the state of Texas from San Antonio, Austin, um, East Texas, West Texas, Dallas, North Texas, anywhere that we can find them, we bring them in. Um, we get a medical treatment if they need it, and we get them to a foster home and start working on getting them a forever home. And uh, now we're doing it with English pointers as well. So this year, it seems like the state of Texas is raining pointers of all different breeds. We've had quite a few intake in this year. And so we're definitely looking to get a bunch of adoptions and even some new foster homes for the organization. Okay. Uh, we usually take a $300 donation, which is used towards the foundation for medical treatment and other things for the dogs that they may need. Um, but sometimes it's lowered, sometimes it's not. It just depends on the dog and the age and the, and the person who's trying to adopt them in their situation. So we try to be flexible if we can. We have a, yeah, we have a business card, if, but if you'd like one of those, yeah. um, well, like, uh, people won't, have, won't be able to see the business card. Like, okay, well, the website is texasgsp.org, okay. and the pointer, I don't know the pointer, it's the, is it the pointer project? Pointer project. Dot com. Texasgsp.org for the German short hair pointers, and it's the pointer project dot com for the English pointers. Hi, good morning. My name is Wendy and I'm a volunteer with Texas Humane Legislative Network. And what we do is try to get laws passed through the Texas legislation for more humane treatment of animals. We currently have a law up for vote right now to stop cobbling animals such as Tennessee walking horses. It, it causes them pain and permanent damage just so we can make them walk the way they do to look pretty. One of the things we've done in the past is shut down puppy mills. We've tried to stop dogs dog fighting. We've made it illegal to dog fight in Texas. And we've also working on laws to make it illegal to cock fight in Texas. You can join online, THLN.org. It's free. We won't spam you, but we'll send you emails when we have important legislation in the House that needs your support. This is Sebastian. Sebastian? Yeah. He, he's been in a car for three hours, so he's really excited. We came from Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. He's, he's, he's glad to be out front and free and everything else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sebastian. Sebby. Can you get a pretty shot of that nice face? Say, Sebby, look. Oh, Say there, hi. That always works for me. Hello. Hello, Sebastian. You got any good words for me? We. We got him as a hand-me-down, then he just stayed with us ever since. This is Maverick. He is a 16-month-old Great Dane. 
Um, he is fawn in color, and we are actually trying to get him certified to go in as a volunteer dog, wow. take him to nursing homes and hospitals and just get him socialized with anything and everything we can. So he's a, he's a great dog. He's very relaxed. All Great Danes are, but um, he just he's a bed hog and shares the bed with Izzy. <laughs> Somebody with, oh my, with a wing. Cupid. Yeah. Cupid. See here, Izzy. No. Oh. <laughs> and Maver this is the one that runs our house. She's 18 ounces, uh -oh. where Maverick is about 155 pounds. And this is the one that runs the house. Huh. <laughs> we love our babies. Huh? And we drove in from Nacogdoches for this. Wow. There we go. Hello, puppy. What's your name? This is Mally. She's my 10 year old Irish setter. And she is oh. always a love bug and always wanting attention. Uh, I see that. Tell me about this one. Coco is a Shih Tzu pug. She's turning two tomorrow. And she's just adorable love. And she just wants attention. So, where'd you get her? My dog rescued a pregnant pug, and she is one of the puppies. I thought I was going to get a, a pug, but it turns out her mom mated with a, a, a Shih Tzu, and this is what she came out. She looked like a little pug when she came out of the womb, and I thought I was going to get a little pug. I was really excited, but... Yeah, I was I was disappointed, and then I saw her sweet nature, and I'm just happy as I can be. Okay, this is Tippy, and she is six and a half. I got her when she was a year old, and I got her from the S uh, from uh, uh, Operation Kindness. Uh, Something very unique about her is her birthday is 777. Yeah, so she's a lucky dog, but I consider her to be the lucky one because uh, uh, she's a perfect partner for me. Javier's a St. Patrick's Day doggy from Fort Worth, Texas, bought behind the 7 Eleven store in Arlington. <laughs> His his mother was gray, his father was black, and he came out brown. Even though uh, you see shades of his mother coming now. This is William, hopefully your favorite videographer from Two Hats Publishing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave comments below or like, follow, or subscribe to us and get notices of all our videos. We love it even when you call.